Hey everybody, Adjective Gaming here. So I wrote a simple Python script that scans a list of 45,000 video games, and it chooses a game for me to play at random. This is Roulette's Play. Gobble gobble, I hope you all had a good Thanksgiving, but it's time for this week's game. Lightning Legend, Daigo no Daibokin, or Lightning Legend, Daigo's Big Adventure. So this game is made by Konami. I'm kind of getting this sort of Castlevania vibe with this music, so it might be, it, this might actually be a pretty good game. Oh god, never mind. There goes all of this game's credibility. Wait, wait, hold on. Let me pause this nonsense for, for a second here, and let me rewind. This character's name is Terrific. His name is Terrific Forlock. I mean, I, I guess that's not a lie. He, he does kind of have a Terrific Forlock. Oh, come on. What, what are you even doing, game? I can't even read the text that's in the background. What is this? This must be a fighting game. I don't think any other type of game just puts their characters on display like this. It has to be a fighting game. Also, was that guy's name Ranked Hatred? Okay, finally, finally some female representation here. And there's a lot of it. This better not be like a Mahjong game. This is just like some guy that parks your car. This is a very bewildering game. I mean, I, I, I don't think it's a parody game. I, I don't think it's self-aware. I think just this is just like a run-of-the-mill Japanese fighting game. And hopefully Ninja Hitler over here is an unlockable character. My god, what is he even talking about? I, I, I can't deal with this. I'm gonna just skip this. Okay, let me go into story mode here. Wow, look at this character select screen. It's it's very animated. So usually I just choose the main character of the franchise here, Daigo. I guess I'll pick him twice? What the hell was the point of that? Daigo's talking to his dad. His dad teleports away, alright. And then I encounter my doppelganger. Oh, the first person I fight is the person I chose second. But I chose myself second. Why would they allow this in a story mode? Alright, so as you can see, I was right. It is a fighting game. It plays very similar to Rival School. So the only problem for me is that it, this game isn't very innovative. Meaning it's very similar to those games or any fighting games. You're just going from place to place fighting different fighters. I mean, there's not much else going on. I mean, they do have these cutscenes in between fights, but they're in Japanese, and I, they're pretty entertaining. Also, their loading bar is comprised of stray cats. So that's pretty innovative. I mean, it's just hard for me to commentate on fighting games in general. It, it's literally the same thing each time. Take a look at this. This pretty much sums up the game for me. Actually, come to think of it, um, the majority of the game is me just beating up children as a ninja. I mean, this is like an infant. It's a floating infant. Like, what's even happening in this scenario? It's a girl building a snowman. I mean, she didn't even put up a fight. I mean, I, I really don't know what else there is to show you about this game. Do you want to see Forlock stage? Well, here it is. Ready? And once again, this always happens for these fighting games. I faced some sort of challenge at the end of the game where I, I kept on consecutively reaching game over screens. I mean, I, I died in one combo, but eventually I overcame it. And then the final boss is a dragon called Dragless. He was actually easier than most of the enemies. I finished him off a, with a classic dick punch. <laughs> Alright, cool. So this is the ending sequence. That face pretty much uh, sums up how I'm feeling right now, both about this game and in general. Also, a thing to note for this game is it turns out there are loot boxes within this game. And when I say loot boxes, I, I, I mean unlockable collectibles. I just say loot boxes because I'm an idiot. A bunch of scandalous art. And then I didn't have time to unlock this stuff, but thankfully, someone on YouTube actually did research on some of the outfits. User Mario32 went out of his way, and I mean, he, he didn't have to do any of this. He, he definitely went the extra mile to do this. He went out of his way, 
he made an entire video displaying these collectible outfits. Thank you, Mario32. You didn't have to do that. You, you saved a, a bunch of us. And another unlockable thing is that the that creepy valet from the beginning is actually a, a playable character. And he, he does he does play just as you imagine. Dancing and clapping. Final verdict. Lightning Legend, Daigo's Big Adventure. It did not feel like an adventure for me. Move sets felt pretty weak. The dialogue cutscenes between characters and the story may be the only thing saving it, but I don't speak Japanese. Or read it. It also did have a lot of unlockables and replayability, so I'll, I'll give it that. So, in total, it's gonna receive three and a half Stray Cats out of five. It also will be receiving the Terrific Forelock Award for being a game containing a Terrific Forelock. Please, no more fighting games. It's ruining the spontaneity of this channel.